listeners welcome to my youtube channel okay today we are currently at a national war museum omaha the place that houses the military equipment that was used during the biafran nigerian war so if you are new in omaha or you are thinking of coming to nigeria and you are thinking of a recreational oh. park a place to chill out yes come with me national war museum is one of those places where you can actually come you and have the best relaxation come with me. let me walk let you me. around what the place looks like so here you can see it's an armor tank that was used during the war so you can come with me mm. you will see this and then so we have a lot of exciting views mm. we have a lot of exciting views mm. from here come with me while i take you around okay. the museum mm. where you could also see some other things like some planes that was used during the biafran nigerian war okay. You have lots of exciting things to talk about or to see in the museum. Okay, here is one of the aircraft that was used during the Biafran mm. Nigerian War. Uh, well, um, you can see. Mm. So you can see how large it is. Wow. So, like the story goes by, it's, uh, it was actually donated by the Egyptians. Mm. It's an aircraft that was donated by the Egyptians to Nigeria. Mm. So you can see how mighty it is. Yeah. There's a lot of exciting things. Here is an engine mm. of one of the aircrafts that was destroyed during the Biafran Nigerian War. Okay, I think uh, over there is mm. some part of it yeah some part of it okay so walk with me there are so many exciting views mm -hmm. at the museum Okay, so where you also have um, some ships and boats that was used during the Biafran Nigerian War. So look at this. So I re I remember this one um, back then. My mom would say. In fact, if my mom tells you the story about the Vietnam War, mm -hmm. you will be amazed. She will say, she will always say, she will always tell a story of this particular um, Obunigwe, mm -hmm. as she usually tells the story. She will say, the next thing is, you will hear Kwarapo, 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 <laughs> Unu, Doom, and the whole place will just scatter. So, here is one of the stuff. Mm. See, and then. <laughs> See, wow, steal it. Steal it. So, with this, you can actually control nowhere to go at them. Mm. And so, wow, it's an exciting place to be. In case, like I said, in case you are thinking of where to go to, mm. thinking of to catching fun, thinking of um, tour, mm. War Museum is one of those places. It's an exciting place to be. Uh. You work with me. Walk with me why I keep you <laughs> another amazing place for museum. Okay, so this is a uh, one of the ship that convened that convened them during the Vietnam War. So over here, lots of things could be done. You see the the gun that was used. So this has a protective edge that you cannot lose it and then release. Then at the same time, like I said, there are so many interesting things. Mm. It is okay. This is um a boat. So, 
So you can see how elegant the shape is. You see the So it's the same. Well, they also have their tools. Okay. So let's go. Let me walk you down. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so come with me. Uh, okay. So this is um. You see why the the sailor the captain uh, is here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So this is actually the kitchen. Oh, right. Wow. This is actually the kitchen. The kitchen. Walk with me. So, like I said, um, the War Museum is a place that houses the equipment, the APC, the airplane, and then the ships. The ship that was used during the Biafran Nigerian War. Within the premises of the War Museum, we also have a large space for events where you can, if you have a wedding, then a funeral ceremony, and you're looking for a space. I think this place has a very good ambience for you to host or to organize your event. And I visited one big man was having an event here, and it was wow. wow. So come with me. Okay. While I take you around to other places. All right. National War Museum. Okay. Actually, you know, this museum was sited here because of the two movable monuments we have in Umuaya the Ujuku Bonka and Voice of Biafra Bonka. And they are both. Voice of Biafra Bonka. That was that's the underground okay. built to house the voice of Biafra radio transmitter okay. during the Nigerian Civil War. Okay. So here, as you said, whoever leaves his house or made up his or her mind to visit the National War Museum really uh, have the plan of looking at what we have here. That's sightseeing. Actually, you have gone around outside. We call it the outdoor exhibition. Okay. So this outdoor exhibition is where we display military hardware you built and used during the Nigerian Civil War. Like if you look around, you see the one that had the Biafran logo. You know they were made locally here and used because you know that time of the war there was embargo or blockade per se. So as a result, the head of state of Biafra. Uh, General Chukwemekodmegojuku formed a research, a group known as Research and Production Unit. They were charged with the responsibilities of producing all these armored cars, even arms like short battery, bobby trap, the winning mines, both the flying and the bucket type, you know. So, all these were used 
to ward off Nigerian aggression as at that time. And if you go near, they still see evidence that they were really used. You can see the annihilation dome on that one. You see bullet marks on the other, on some of them. So actually, the Air Force section tells us much about the air power, both the Air France and the Nigerians also. Here you see on display about three or four aircraft that belongs to Nigerian Air Force. One is the Elysian 20 AJ Bomber and Fighter aircraft, the MiG-17, MiG-18, sorry, MiG-17, Donia 17 and Donia 18. On the side of Biafra we have the, the Minicon, that's the real name for that aircraft. But the, sorry, <coughs> Biafra named it, nicknamed it Biafra BB. Wow. Then why Nigeria? nicknamed it Biafra Mosquito. So wow. that aircraft was used for mini counter insurgence operation. Okay. So down to the naval aspect of it, you see the equipment. We saw the equipment we displayed there. There you see the, the assault boats we land was constructed by the Nigerian Navy and the, some of the used anti aircraft remains of used anti-aircraft guns. Display there is, includes the anti-submarine that is, was carried out from one of the Nigerian flagship. You see, if you look good there, you see the damages done on those uh, uh, pipes. They uh, just let the pipes. You see the bust. Then when you look at the thickness of that barrier, it's about five inches. Then tell me what will happen to Human, uh, human being eh, that got in contact with such uh, arms. Eh? You know what will happen. Mm. So that's why all these things we displayed here, we are not using them to glorify war. We use them to sensitize people about the dangers of uh, the war. So that NNS Bonnet Patrol craft, the land was used around uh, Calabar Bonnet sector. But unfortunately for that ship, it was, you know, damaged by the Bia France with their homemade weapon of war called shore battery. We learned that when the ship sank, both men and materials inside perished. By the time the museum was established here, they were, the ship was brought in pass and reassembled by the naval personnel. Even those aircraft, they were brought in pass and recoupled here. So now, for the inner side of this uh, gallery, we have galleries. We have gallery one, gallery two, and gallery three. The first phase of this gallery called traditional warfare gallery was, you know, launched on the 15th of January 1985 for the purpose of preserving for posterity the Nigerian war effort through the ages by the then chief of South Supreme Headquarters, led Major General Babatunde Diabo. So in 1989, it was commissioned for the purpose of consolidating the gains of national unity by the then chief, uh, chairman, joint chief of staff, and minister of defense, Lieutenant General Don Katia Bali led. So in the traditional warfare gallery, it tells us much about the evolution of weapons. So when you go there, you see the pictures we displayed trying to show you the great historical battles of Africa and Europe. And to be precise, the type of crude implements of war and changes metamorphosis due to the, uh, technology. So the first picture you see there tells much about Shaka Zulu of South Africa. The man will land that weathered a formidable military unit known as the Black Napoleons around 87. So what we are trying to display or to depict is the good implements of war he used, the shield and the spear. So gradually you see pictures of people like Amazons of Dahomey, Menelik, Ahmed of Egyptian, even the use of elephant by Hannibal and Hadrus Bar during the time they invaded Dora 207 BC. In other words, that time no vehicle of any kind, they rely on beasts of bodies. They use all these things 
donkeys, camels, and other ones to carry both men and materials forward. So as we move gradually, gradually due to changes in technology, modern arms started featuring. So the use of modern rifles, the use of cannons, the foreigners of today's artillery, modern artillery, gun and nazis. So on the use of trenches and the use of armored cars. You see, in those days, people make use of bows and arrows because the arrow cannot withstand the force of firepower that does for protection and defense that involve using trench. You know what I mean by trench? There is something like white gutter, the heaped sand on both yeah. sides, and then stay inside. inside. So if you happen that the opponent build their own there, uh -huh. dug their own there, in between become a buffer zone and nothing exists there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Due to exchange of, of bullets. So now, also, we have the strategy of a corporate group warding off an invading force in those days. While going out for war, they look for big trees, hide their people, give them arms, which they also use to ward off any aggression. Now, in the second room is where you see physically some of the Nigerian traditional warfare implements, ranging from the use of uh, stones. Meanwhile, we have the imaginary paintings of the elements in creation and the evolution so in that first showcase we have there is where we display stones discovered by the archaeologists they are not ordinary stones you can pick anywhere you understand so that's why in the museum we have the department of archaeology people charge responsibilities of collecting material evidence of man eh, through what is called systematic digging or excavation in other words those stones were all excavated from the soil then in that period of stone age gave birth to iron age and when man discovered iron he started using forming weapons of war popularly called shock weapons such as swords daggers spears lances javelins wow. then and for you to fight with this you have to carry your you have to defend yourself. That's where the use of shield features. Yeah. In other words, we have different shields of different materials and of different dimensions displayed there. Yeah. Then when it comes to missiles, like I said, the use of the bows and the arrow also featured. Initially, due to geographical areas, you know, and vegetation as well. Like the people of the eastern region make use of six beds. Again, uh, the northern aspect of it, they, 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 they make use of arrow, hmm? uh, bows and arrow with iron tip and a uh, long shaft. Generally, even by the time you know people became wise, both the eastern and the entire Nigeria started making use of the hutu. But another illustration indicates that before the advent of the white, our people have discovered iron. Because this iron, these materials, they have been using them before the colonial era or the advent of the white man. If you want to prove that, you see that our people, we have our African traditional religion. Our people worship images, carve images. All right? Then those three images they were they were worshiping. What did they use in carving them? Can you use stick and carve? Uh, that's iron. Yeah. They are they are they are the occupation hunting and farming. Mm. They make use of uh, iron. Mm. All right. Yeah. But the white man will come to tell you that he they he discovered rather they came to develop it and modernize mm. it for us. Understand? Yeah. So now there's one area there areas of communication. Okay. So those days involve talking drums, the use of sling, wooden drums, uh, drums made of animal skins, even the trumpets, the flutes, some were made of a uh, buffalo horn, or the long one used in the north called kakaki. You know kakaki? Yes. I if you are used to AIT news, sometimes yeah, they feature yeah, it kakaki. kakaki yeah. I think like that is the place where I got to know about it. Direct. Mm -hmm. You see, in time of Doba, or Doba race, even the appearance of the Emir of festivity, any festivities in the north, the, you know, that flute usually come out. Wow. So, so, in other words, you have all that you've just mentioned in the Yes. Museum. All you yes. also have the kakaki. Yes, the kakaki is there. Wow. And you have the 
uh, bows and arrow. We have them all. Wow. In fact, uh, in people fact, really cherish to see all these well, things. I would have loved to have a view of those items, but... Mm. You, 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 you see the, the cannon. I told you, the foreigners of today, more than artillery gun. Okay. Like the artillery, the Uiza, the uh, shelling like machine. Yeah. We have them displayed outside. Yeah. Right? So the foreigners, starting from the use of bulls and arrow, the use of cannon, then develop or metamorphosize to this oh. Um, oh. artillery of modern day wow. form of warfare. Wow. Then to crown it there, we have locally made them gun. Okay. All right. You know, by the time they put it, the them gun came in from Denmark. Our people looked at it and were able to carve out their own, especially the Oka. The Oka made. Blacksmith. Yeah. You know the Oka made is popular. Yes. Good. Then, to end it, we have the two Lewy automatic machine guns. So you see how we started from crude. We metamorphosized yes. from the Stone Age yes. to the Bow and Arrow. Then, age, then, then to the stage of this uh, automatic. Yes. When I started, I said first gallery. gallery. Mm. Okay. Tradition. Oh, sorry, if I may ask. So altogether, how many galleries do you have in there? We have three major galleries. Three major galleries. Okay. Traditional warfare. Okay. Armed forces and okay. civil war gallery. Civil war gallery. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, we ended it by the automatic gun. Yeah. Then when you come outside, now, you enter this other side of it, okay. where you see armed forces gallery. Right? Okay. To start with, we have the Nigerian national flag okay. displayed, the army, the navy, and the air force. That's the three main bodies that make up Nigerian armed forces. Okay, the army, the navy, navy and, the and the air force. Air force. So, when you go enter the uh, now, the first room tells you much about the evolution of the uh, Nigerian army, yeah. which was traceable to local diverse forces raised in those days. Okay. Even as at 1921, an ordinance constituting soldiers of West Africa Frontier Force was promulgated. At the point, due to you know improvement, our people started coming up okay. under colonial era to the extent that we have commissioned officers. Wow. We have the first commissioned officer known as uh, Lieutenant W. U. Bass, okay. followed by JTI Yes, yeah. the commissioners that you have, do you have? Um, just their pictures or you do you have a like a statue of them or they have all their photographs yeah okay. rubber statue yeah. yes no what we have there is mannequins which mannequins. we use to represent yeah. military yeah. uniform both army navy and uh, air force okay. so there you see a, a jet uh, uh, left on w bass as the first commission nigerian army officer jet to your second and with the Brigadier Samuel Demulegu, okay. Port and Zachariah Mayamalare. So, there are still pictures of former military heads of state, okay. pictures of uh, former uh, chief of army staff, okay. former chief of defense staff, and former chief of uh, general staff, with their ranks and their soft ordinances. In the Navy, the same. You see also uniform sets, ceremonial uniform sets, working uniform sets, and underwriting uniform sets. Then followed by naval combat uniform set, both Army, Navy, and the Air Force, with lineup of former chief of naval staff. And there are uh, semaphore flags, flag this, and professional badges for lawyer, gun lawyer, gunnery, shallow water diver, nurse, steward, cook, music, many of them. That's their professional badges. Then we enter the Air Force. Yeah, there you see photograph of the white men, you know, that trained our Nigerian personnel. And the, the Nigerian personnel that took over yeah, as the Air Force commanders. We still have similar showcase where you have uniform for lady pilot, group captain, master warrant officer, mess dress, right? Air nurse, air marshal, and survivor kit for the pilot. Then along the line, you still see the lineup of former photograph of former chief of the uh, air staff and the ranks. Okay. You see, to equate the ranks in the Nigerian Army Gallery uh, ranks, the peak there is the field marshal. In the Nigerian Navy, the peak there is admiral of the fleet. 
and in the Nigerian Air Force, they as Marshal of the Nigerian Air Force. That's Engalari 2. Engalari 3 tells much about the Nigerian Civil War, which no one prayed again for such things to happen. If you look at this war, that unplastered war, that's the starting point of the underground. I told you earlier the underground was built to house the voice of Biafra radio transmitter. Are you following? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was their voice during that time. Though they have two radios, like that one standing there, the white thing, like generator there, okay. is for internal services. Excuse me. The radio uh, Biafra. I thought that is supposed to be, um, can we walk, take a walk there? So, like this one. It's not a generator. Uh, okay, <laughs> when we get here, I would like you to lay more emphasis on the war. The war. I, honestly, I did not take note of a bare war that was not plastered nor painted. Okay, this so I see it. Did you notice it? I didn't notice it. So, I see. So, this is an unplastered war. Wow. This is exactly how we found it here. Okay. You know, we call here wow. Museum In Situ. Okay. Mm. Museum In Situ, in that. It was cited here because of what we have here. Ooh. Because this bunker is immovable. You cannot no, lift it. Yeah. So the museum, because of these two bunkers, I told you earlier. Okay. So you see the original wall. Okay. As it is written, see wow. the inscription here. Wow. 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 It said wow. so the original wall of the voice of the Afra bunker is let at its original state. So meaning that from now to you... Nobody have tampered. Nobody has tampered with it. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so, so you said... Uh, I used to think that was uh, a prob probably a genset. Little did I know that it was a transmitter. It's a transmitter. Like now, the bunker covers the whole of this area. Okay. Down to that point. Oh. That's the exit. Okay. All right? Okay. By wow. the time you find yourself inside here, Wow. Move around the galleries there, wow. you emerge from that point. Okay. And uh, there we have another radio transmitter. Okay, please, sir. I think let's talk about this and then I will still like us to walk down to that side. Okay, so this is the remains of the radio Biafra transmitter that was used for internal services okay. during the war. You see why we call it mobile radio Biafra transmitter? Okay. They fix this one in a truck okay. and we're moving from place to place, making their broadcast. Wow. 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 Why that one there was remained there okay. for external for services. Internal services. Mm -hmm. Can we please... Uh, <laughs> okay. We have covered this place. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Down to this place. And see the wall cast mm. so that bullet cannot penetrate. penetrate. Mm. Right? It was so cast. It has been like this since it was built. Wow. So you look at the area and you see the vents. See this pipe? Okay. Yes. These are the ones that supplies oxygen. Okay. Inside. Sorry, because of the wheat. Okay. Uh, this is not because of this uh, rain that just started. Yeah. Mm. Otherwise, we have an amiable curator. Okay. That has been handling all these things. Okay. And believe me, by the time you come here tomorrow, you don't see this wheat. Wow. Mm. Right. So let it not be an eyesore. Okay. If you look at that place now, you know she has started clearing yes. and mm. she will clear the entire place. Mm -hmm. Now it's a very big compound. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you see the 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 the, the, the pipes yeah. that supplies oxygen. Oxygen. that's the vents. Okay. Good. All this place we are standing now is the top of the wall. Wow. Right? Okay. Had it we entered there, you see all our displays okay. inside here. So by the time you walk around, finish your Wait, mission. You, uh, please, sir. Um, yes. You mean right where we are standing? Yes. We're actually on top of the underground. On top of the underground. Yes. Wow. So how many feet? Or how was the depth like? Um, close to 30 feet deep. Wow. 30 feet deep. Probably. Wow. Okay. Let me not uh, give you wrong okay. information. Okay. So you know, can you see? Yeah. That's the exit. Wow, wow. This is the exit of the water. It's dark on the mm. unless it is light there. So, meanwhile, if I enter from here and I will come out 
from there, from, there. from that counter there. Meanwhile, the time we enter traditional warfare gallery, mm -hmm. due to changes in technology, changes in weapon reformations, mm -hmm. and gave rise to the use of trenches. Mm -hmm. okay. And now you can see the trench. The remains of the trench dug by the France during the war. Mm -hmm. And this trench will land linked to Ujuku Bonka. Wow. So that time, if the head of state wants to make, or if he had any mission here, yeah. he will use this down to his house, from his house. Just wow. like in Ojuku. Yes. Wow. Wow. You know, here is a strategic place. Yes. If you stay here, you'll be looking at this. Omoahia, Uwere Road, Omoahia, Uzako, the Axis, and something like that. Mm. So, um, between the War Museum and Ojuku Banka, which of them did they build first? Uh, according to eyewitness and history, no, I was not there. Such but we learned that the two bunkers were built together. Okay. In construction, they were building this and building this particular okay. one. But it took them three months. Three months. Three months. That is approximately 90 days. 90 days. Wow. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. thank, th thank you very much. Are you really done justice? Honestly, I would have loved to enter there and then to take my audience down there, but due to one or two things, we will not be able to take you down there. Right. However, you've heard from the horse's mouth what you will see whenever you come around or whenever you pay a visit. Mm -hmm. So like I said earlier on, the National War Museum is a nice place to visit if you are in Omaha, Oweri, Port Harcourt, even if you are in abroad and you are planning or you have intention to visit Nigeria and you are thinking of a park or a recreational center to visit, make National War Museum one of your priority. A place, in fact, if you are not here, mm, it, that means you are missing. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. Mm. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Inside perished. So this is this is the remains of a Biafra soldier's girl, uh, a victim of this annihilation. Okay. You can see? So that's why we pray mm. and even plead the youth of this time that in any angle, you see, in mm. any angle you look at it, mm. war is not good mm. and nobody should pray for war. Mm. The right word for any conflict is dialogue. Dialogue with your government, dialogue with whoever you know that will, you know, the end that will just be peace and this peace and unity of one Nigeria. Okay. You see, people that observe this war pray not to see war again because of what they encountered. So, and it starts from the house. All these things we are talking about stand with Apple upbringing. In the house, be in unity with your siblings first. Yeah. Honor your parents. Yes, you said it. Eh? You said the it. entire neighborhood. Then, when you come out, you avoid rage, rancor, hatred, animosity, and it comes to the other aspect of it: avoid anarchy, dichotomy, mm -hmm. disintegration, uprising, civil unrest. Just in everything we need. So I told you, and to conclude it, that we didn't display all these things to glorify war, war. to glorify Nigeria or Biafra efforts during the war, but to sensitize people about the dangers of war. Look at what happened here. People were inside. And you believe me, nobody escaped it. Sure. Well, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank right. you once again, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you. One. Right. Okay.